Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So now it's time for us to learn about the Ajax thing. So we have understood about this XML HTTP request object, right? So why why we use this new keyword and all those things. So now we need to understand that why we need to learn this XML HTTP request. Why? Because this has been deprecated. So using this XHR object and all those things are deprecated. And we are using right now in the JavaScript, we are using fetch APIs and all those things. So we'll try to learn those all things also on after the after this one. So why we are trying to learn this one is still there are some old scripts or old JavaScript thing, which still they are using XML HTTP request objects. So in order to understand those script code and all those things, so it's better to us to have a knowledge about this XHR object. And also that this is the first implementation of the Ajax functionality. So that is the reason we are trying to, I'm trying to explain you. And also, if you are trying to use the new, this type of coding does not involve any polyfills. So what is by polyfill means? So you can see my previous Babel courses and all the things, then you'll be able to understand about the polyfill. So polyfill is the development term or it's a, it's another way of coding. So which, which has a JavaScript code, which enables the browser. So it enables the browser to write the old uh, script code. Way. So to understand, to convert the code into a old browser code. So that is the reason. <clears throat> So let's try to learn about this one. So now why we are, what we are learning in this video is, so now we are, we need to learn about it, another new concept that is nothing but ready state. Okay. The ready state. So what is the ready state? So if you try to see here in the paint, I will try to open the paint. If you try to see the Ajax request or anything typically, so here you will be having a server, oh sorry, client. So here you'll be having a client and here you'll be having the server, web server. So when you make an HTTP request, so when you make an HTTP request, so when you make an HTTP request, so the request has been made. Okay. And getting the response to the client, it takes some time. Okay. Take some time, some, some time it will take. So we don't know how much time it will take. The server has to process the data and it has to convert and it needs to send the response. So this may take some time. Sometimes it may be finished in one millisecond. Sometimes it may take one second or something like that. So now, so somehow client XHR object will give you a property that is nothing but a ready state property. So this ready state property will give you the different levels where the HTTP request object has been there. So one, this, so this one is, this one will be having four level stages. So if you try to see in the MDN or anything, so first one is the zero, that is nothing but unsent. Unsent means so we have we have created XHR object but we haven't sent. And this one is open. So that means we have called the open method. So the XHR dot open method is been called, but we haven't sent. So the next one is a header received. Send has been called and the headers and status are available. And the another one is downloading. Response text holds the partial data. So that means server is started sending the data. So the client is downloading the response thing. That means it's a success thing. So the operation is completed. So these are the four different one, one, two, three, four, five, sorry, five, five different ready states available. Okay. So now in this example, I will try to show you the different stages where it will be involved in this XML HTTP request object. So now here we have created a new XML HTTP request object and here I am doing console.log. So first one is an unsent. So we still, we have it created, we have it sent it. So XHR dot ready state. So I am using XHR dot ready state. That's it. So now I have called this open function and here I can use console dot log XHR. Sorry, this one is open, right? So open. So here you'll be having XHR dot ready state. So what is the ready state for this one? So now after sent, so open, unsent, open. Now here I am using console dot log. done xhr dot ready state that's it finish so now let's try to see the output so now when you try to see the output for this one so when i am clicking on this change functionality so if i click on this one see first the unsend has been done so next the request has been opened so ready state has been changed to one then afterwards in the xhr dot loading state so the ready state has been changed to four so these are the different states 
stages the ready state will be executed there are also a loading state and also another one is address issue state i will try to show you those things also but i am trying to show you the most common method state how the ready state will be the, uh, uh, changed so this is how the ready state so using this ready state we can able to understand that at what stage the xhr the, the ajax call is there so in which stage the ajax call is there so now using this ready state also we can able to determine that whether we are whether we are a, whether we got the response or not using the ready state for if you get the ready state for means then automatically the response has been got so this is all about the ready state property hope you understood about this ready state property in the xhr xml http request object if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you